Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can install WordPress locally in Windows 11. So without further ado, let's directly jump into it. Okay, so here you can see we are already in our computer screen and let me quickly open browser. So the tool here I'm going to use is the simplest of all. They're going to give us a one click WordPress installation. So the tool I'm talking about is WordPress by Flywheel. And here we go. We have opened its website. The only thing here we need to do is we need to download it for free. Let's click here on download it for free. And here we go. Here we actually can see that it is not only available for Windows, but you can also install it for Mac as well as Linux. And not only that, you can see the spectrum of OS it actually support. So in our case, it is Windows. I'm going to quickly type my details here. And then let's click on get it now. And there we go. Here we can see the process of download has begun. Now let's wait for a while till it get downloaded. And there we go. Now let me quickly open the folder where we have downloaded this WordPress. Now let me make double click on it. And installation is that easy guys. Now here we need to define whether you want to install it globally or just for this particular user. I'm gonna go with the default setting and now let's also click on install. Now let's wait for a while and there we go installation is that easy guys we do not need to set up any kind of server it will be done automatically now let's click on run local and here we need to accept terms and condition and click on i agree now here you need to click on create a free account that you require to sign in and i would like to do sign in using my google account so I'm going to choose my Google account to sign in. And there we go. After signing in, we need to click on open local. Now here we can see the interface looks like this. And one may also get confused. Oh, we want to install WordPress, not this software. What exactly it is? So here actually is the interface of local, which going to make everything super easy. So now we need to click here on create a new site, which is basically creating a new WordPress site. And now if you already have the WordPress site ready, you can migrate it by simply dragging and dropping the zip file. But I'm going to show you how you can set up a brand new website. So let's click here on this option, which is create a new website. Now let me click on new and here we can give it a name. Let me type here technoholic WordPress. And now I'm going to click here on advance. If you would like to make some more changes, you can give it a name. So here you can see this is my local site domain which is really nice because this will also help you to open this online. Okay, so now I'm going to click on continue. And then here you also can define the PHP version, the server and the database, which is really awesome guys. Because when we set up this thing by ourselves, it take lot of installation and here everything is at your finger point which is really nice so i'm gonna go with preferred which is i am letting software to choose what is best for me now let's click here on continue and now here i need to create a username and password so let me quickly create a username here and the password now here we also have an option to create wordpress multi-site i'm gonna keep it no now let's click on add site and let's click on allow and now again, let's click on allow. Now let's wait for a while till the whole process gets started. And one more thing I wanted to tell you about this local by Flywheel. You not only can set up and host one WordPress website in your personal system, but you can actually set up multiple website without any issues because when we set up and host multiple WordPress websites, at some time we see conflict between different WordPress websites. 
now here we can see everything is ready let's click here on open website and there we go we are opening this for the first time if you want to see and access the local wordpress dashboard for that you can come back to this local and from here you can click on wp admin and this way guys we will be redirected to our wordpress dashboard now here we need to enter the credential which we have created and there we go we are now inside wordpress dashboard i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye